Hello guys, welcome to Nine Tech Info. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to create user folders in Active Directory on Windows Server 2022. So without further ado, let's begin this tutorial. All right, so first off, I'm going to go into File Explorer. And I'm going to click on this PC. I'm going to go into our local C drive. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to right click and click New Folder. And I'm going to call the, this folder uh, Shared Folders for the space. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to edit the permissions and make sure to share the folder so it's accessible on the local area network. So I'm gonna right click and choose properties, click on sharing and advanced sharing. So I'll click on share this folder. Now I'm gonna remove this, the space here and put an underscore as it just can be easier when adding. Um, folders to the network. It's also easier when I'm when you're configuring the user in Active Directory users and computers um, as it doesn't quite like spaces. Uh, we're also going to put a dollar sign over here so no other user can access this well no one else can see it unless they physically type in the address of the folder so it's hidden basically. That dollar sign will make it hidden. Next we're going to quickly hop into the permissions we're going to remove the everyone uh, permission and we're going to add a new permission and we're going to call it domain users. Hit enter. And I'm going to make sure they have full control. Click OK. Apply. OK. Make sure you have that handy uh, as this is the path we're going to be using to make our folders. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click it, I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to open up a note tab, so a notepad, and I'm just going to paste the directory in there for reference. And click close. And close off this window. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go into Active Directory, Users and Computers. We're going to create a new user, and we're going to assign it a home folder. So we'll go into Start. Type in Active Directory Users and Computers. We're going to choose our organizational unit that we created in the last video. If you have not seen that video, then please click the uh, pop up banner in the top right hand corner. Uh, so we're going to click this button here, which is New User. And I'm simply going to call this user Test2. And the user login name or username is Test2. I'm going to hit a password, make a password, sorry. I'm going to click next and finish. Now we're going to do, we're going to right click it and choose properties. We are then going to go into profile and you can see we have our home folder um, path here, which is what we're going to be using. So we're going to be doing connect, and we're going to choose a drive letter, which in my case I'm going to choose N. And now we're going to use this uh, share uh, directory. I'm going to copy that, paste it in here, and then we're going to add another backslash and do percentage username percentage. And what this does is that when you create a brand new user, it will basically copy the username or the user login name that we configured earlier for this user. And it's just going to basically make the folder uh, that name, which could be easy when you're having multiple folders and you don't want it to be naming them manually. So we're then going to hit apply and OK. And we're going to minimize Active Directory. Now we're going to do, we're going to hop over to our client machine and log on to test two. 
Okay, so we are now in the uh, Windows uh, uh, Windows 11 uh, client machine now. So we're going to um, log on as test2. This is an example I was doing earlier. So test2, the password. And we'll just wait for it to load. As you can see, we are now in Windows 11. And if we pop into our File Explorer, and if we click on this PC, you can see that we have a network location known as Test2 on the NTI SVR01 Shared Folders folder. So what we're going to do now, just to make sure that this works, I'm going to create a new file. So we're just going to do new text document. I'm just going to call it test. So I'll do file, hit save, and close off the notepad. Now, if we head back into our Windows Server 2022 machine, and if we go into File Explorer, go into this PC, local disk, shared folders, test2, and test, you can see that the file and content are both showing, which is a good thing. And that's it. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If you'd like to request a video, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Or you can check out our Discord server and Instagram page, which are the links in the video description. Thank you very much for watching.